This video will cover assembly patterns. It is often desirable to make a pattern of a part or subassembly and have it displayed in the workspace instead of inserting each part and constraining it. The pattern uses either a part or a subassembly. After the pattern is created, it can be edited from the Design Explorer. Since the pattern is based on a part, if the base part is edited, the pattern of that part or subassembly will also be changed and updated. There are two options for creating patterns, either linear or circular. Linear. The linear pattern can be in any direction and can even be done in three directions at once. The direction of the pattern is denoted by an edge or axis. It can be located anywhere in the assembly, including any part, subassemblies, or one of the default axes of the assembly. Individual parts for the pattern cannot be deleted or skipped, but they can be suppressed in the Design Explorer. Circular. The circular pattern is used identically to the linear pattern, except the part or subassemblies are inserted around an axis or an edge. There are a few other options that can be used with the circular pattern. Layers allows you to create circular patterns and vertical patterns at the same time. Layer spacing specified value of the vertical layers. Twist. This input value will twist the next layers by this degree amount. This video covered assembly patterns. It is often desirable to make a pattern of a part or subassembly and have it displayed in the workspace instead of inserting each part and constraining it. There are two options for creating patterns, either linear or circular. The linear pattern can be in any direction and can be done in three directions at once. The circular pattern is used identically to the linear pattern, except the parts or subassemblies are inserted around an axis or an edge. 